So the whole thing ended like this. She said, if I do not produce some kind of a document that says for sure that I'm a U.S. citizen and I stay in the United States, she will be taking my money out of my account. And that sounded like terrorism to me, okay? And I accused her of terrorism. I was, I was confused of what was happening. I went to the bank and I noticed that my money was was missing, was missing on three different occasions. It was over a thousand dollars, maybe. It's not a big amount of money, but the fact that they used this, these stealthy tactics without notifying me beforehand that the money will be taken for certain reasons, for certain, uh, for certain, uh, you know, certain directions where the money will be used properly that never happened to me I never got a letter I never got one single notice that my money was going to be taken out and and uh, used purposely in, in a purpose purposeful uh, way for some reason uh, in, a, in, a, in a lawful way well, what I found out that basically what they did, they broke into my account and they started taking my money out and uh, sending that money to institutions I had nothing to do with. I had nothing to do with these institutions. Besides, I was not even in this country. I was not even in Poland when they were doing it. So basically they were doing the, everything behind my back. Everything was behind my back without not notification, without any prior signal that Something is going to happen to my money. I was very mad at that. I went to the bank and I tried to explain what happened. They, I mean, the PKOSA workers told me that this is their way of conduct. And I said, listen, guys, you know, I, I, did I sign any document for you to do something like that? Do you have any, my signature on any documents that you supposedly said that, that, that they allowed you uh, to, to send my money to a certain account that I had nothing to do about. I had nothing to do with it. I knew nothing about that account that they sent my money to. I didn't know anything. They tried to keep me in the dark all the time, okay? Now what, what happened is that they began lying. Basically they began lying to me and these prevaricators, you know, were uh, basically uh, trying to keep me in the dark, like I said, and confuse me. Okay, so I would not know what, 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 where they're coming from and what I can do in, in my way to do something, you know, in reverse. But that's not, all, that's not all of the story here, okay? What happened after that, I closed the account. And upon closing the account, <clears throat> I noticed that my disability, ben disability benefits were not going to the proper place in the United States. I notified the United States uh, Department of Veterans Affairs that my money is going to be gone to the Chase, Chase Manhattan Bank. Uh, that, that did not happen. So I found out, what I'm saying right now that I found out l just months later that my disability benefits were going into my closed, supposedly closed account, but the bank was not notifying me of that. But if I did something wrong to the bank, automatically, by courier, I was getting my, a letter saying that I did something wrong to the bank. So why didn't they notify me of the fact that my money was in their possessions? They had that, mo they had that money, I, like I said, I found that out 20 months later. That's 20 months later. So what happened is that my disability benefits stopped. I don't know why. Uh, but I believe it was because I uh, closed the account suddenly uh, and the Department of Veterans Affairs needs a little bit of a time uh, to, 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 to transfer uh, from one bank to another. But I had to close the, that, that, that uh, account because it was an emergency. And the emergency, uh, the emergency contained the fact that I, was try I tried to forbid them to steal my money again. I tried to avoid 
PKOSA bank in Poland to steal my money again. Okay, so in this consequence, my money stopped coming to either America or Poland for five months. I was without money. And I had to return to the United States. I had a problem on the border in uh, Switzerland because I was overdue in Schengen era, uh, in Schengen area, I should say. Because of the fact I didn't have the money, so I could not return to the United States, I was almost fined a thousand francs for the fact that I overstayed here, which means Poland, but I over overstayed here because I didn't have the money, and why I didn't have the money was because the bank, PKO, SA, disdainfully stole my money. And I am still telling everybody today that this was not one occasion, but I can count eight occasions, that this bank was stealing, had been stealing my money. My money, that means my disability benefits from the United States government. So I tried to straighten out this issue with the bank. And again, I was just like coming to a wall, to a brick wall, to a cement wall. And um, I sent them a multitude of documents, of my documents, of course. Uh, they were responding to me, of course, with lies. Nothing else but lies or missing uh, answers to my questions. I tried to get the specific answers to specific questions. I never got that. I never got that. I got some answers, but they are not crucial. They are not crucial to push my case forward. And that is why I'm here in front of this camera to tell about how the banking system works in, the United, uh, in Poland. Because the United States, uh, because of the United States was willing and is willing and had been willing to send the money to my account in Poland. But I trust more the banking system in the United States and the government of the United States, I trust them more rather than I trust of those the systems I just I just mentioned in the in Poland. Um, I am mad. I am really really mad at this moment. I could really talk and talk upon this issue, uh, and I probably forgot a few things here. But I am appealing to such governmental agencies as FBI. Uh, General Prosecutor of the United States, Department of Veterans Affairs of the United States, Disabled American Veteran, uh, Disabled American, American Veterans of the United States, uh, which I'm a member of since 1993, and, and I am also uh, asking anybody in the United States or any Western country uh, to get interested in my case. Because my case is not alone. I know a lot of people here, Polish people, who, are, uh, who, were, uh, uh, who were robbed by banks, basically, by the, that, that, that thievish system that we have here. They cannot do much about this because, uh, because uh, what's happening is the Polish citizens are like a lower class citizens in front of the uh, uh, judicial system in, 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 in Poland. Uh, 